Hello everyone and welcome to another SpecWar video brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com A SpecWar is just my product comparison video. The four products that I will be comparing today are Smart Hubs and they are the SmartThings Hub, the Wink 2, the Wink Relay and the Instian Central Controller. These four hubs are often the biggest sellers and the most wished for products. This video has nine different sections and they are Section 1, Basic Specifications Section 2, Connections Section 3, Design, Warranty and Power Section 4, Smart Features Section 5, Remote Access Section 6, Smart Home Systems Section 7, Compatible Devices Section 8, Box Contents and Section 9, reviews and ratings. These sections are listed below this video and to move quickly bet between them click or tap on the different times. So let's get stuck in. There are three different companies that make these hubs. These three different companies are some of the biggest names in smart homes. Two of the hubs are made by Wink one is made by SmartThings, which is the smart home arm of Samsung. The other hub is made by perhaps a less well-known company called Instian. The oldest hub in this comparison is the Wink Relay, which was first for sale in September 2014. The newest product is the Wink 2, which was first for sale in September 2016. The SmartThings Hub, which is version 3, was released in June 2015, whilst the Instian Hub was released in May 2015. As we continue with this comparison, you will see that the Wink Relay operates in a slightly different way than the other three hubs in this comparison. What is interesting to me is, is that compared to other smart home devices, which tend to be updated at the minimum every year, all of these hubs are relatively old. I think that this shows, as smart home technology evolves and moves on, these traditional types of hubs will become less frequent and less important. The lightest hubs in these comparisons are the SmartThings and Wink2. Each of these weighs just 8 ounces. The heaviest hub in this comparison is the Wink Relay, which at 40 ounces weighs five times as much as its brother, the Wink 2 hub. One of the biggest reasons for this is that the Relay has a built-in touchscreen that the other hubs just don't have. The prices for individual products are always changing on Amazon, and so please be careful to check the price before you buy any item. The most expensive hub is the Wink 2, which currently costs $99. The cheapest is the Instian, which costs just over $60. The SmartThing Hub costs just under $80 and the Wink Relay costs just under $70. Any Smart Hub needs to be connected to a home Wi-Fi network. They can do this using a Wi-Fi connection or an Ethernet cable. The two Wink hubs are the only ones to use Wi-Fi. Wink Relay can only connect to a home Wi-Fi network which runs at a speed of 2.4 GHz. This in practical terms means that it can connect to the overwhelming majority of home Wi-Fi networks. The Wink 2 can connect to Wi-Fi networks that run at a 2.4 GHz and also networks that run at a 5 GHz speed. Most modern Wi-Fi routers have Ethernet ports. These ports allow you to connect a few devices to the router using a cable, instead of just relying on everything connecting to it via Wi-Fi. Three of these hubs use an Ethernet cable as a connection to the Wi-Fi router. As I have just described above, the Wink 2 can connect to your, your Wi-Fi router using a, a Wi-Fi connection, but it can also connect to a router using an Ethernet cable, and this is the recommended method. The SmartThings Hub and the Instian Hub need to be connected to the router using an Ethernet cable. 
The two Wink hubs are the only two hubs in this comparison that use Bluetooth as a connection. The SmartThings hub and the Wink 2 hub are the only two hubs that have storage. Both of them had five, 512 megabytes. All of the hubs in this comparison are only available in white and it has to be said that in terms of design they all look very plain and boring. There is none of the good looks and refinement that you may find on a smart thermostat such as the Nest or the Ecobee 3. Three of these hubs can be easily installed and set up by yourself. Each of them comes with a very detailed user guide as well as videos that walk you through the process. The exception to this is the Wink Relay. Unless you are very competent and experienced in household electrics, then this hub needs to be installed by a professional. The reason for this is that it needs to be installed in place of a single or double light switch, and so in order to install it you are actually altering your home's electrics. The Instian hub has a two year limited warranty on it. All the other hubs in this comparison have a one year limited warranty and a 30 day money back guarantee. The Wink 2 and Instian hubs need a 120 volt power cable. The SmartThings hub is powered by four AA batteries which are included in the box. The Wink relay is powered using wires that you would usually use to power a light switch. Voice control could well be the next big thing in smart devices. The Amazon Echo and Google Home seem to be leading the way in this technology. They are turning themselves into the next generation of smart hubs. Unfortunately, none of the hubs in this comparison use voice control. The next three features all relate specifically to the Wink Relay. It is these three features that show how different the Relay is as a hub compared to the other hubs in this comparison. The Wink Relay is the only hub to have a touch screen and it is 4.3 inches big. The Relay is the only one of the hubs to have sensors built in. It has three sensors, proximity, temperature and humidity. The proximity sen sensor is a pretty cool feature because it means that as you get close to the hub it senses your presence and it lights up. The Wink Relay also has a microphone and speaker built into it. This feature is only useful if you have other Wink Relays around your house because then it can turn itself into a really good intercom system and you can have conversations with people via your Relay. Remote access is the ability to control your hub without physically touching it. This is normally done through specifically designed apps for smartphones and tablets. In this comparison, the Wink Relay is a little bit different because it has the app built into its touchscreen. Some of the very best smart devices also allow you to interact with them using a web browser. If you're using an iPhone or iPad, then the smart things, the Wink 2 and the Instian Hub all need to be running version 9 or later. If you're using an Android phone or tablet, then the requirements are slightly different for each of the hubs. The SmartThings hub needs to be running version 4.1 or later. The Wink 2 hubs needs to be running 4.0.3 later. And the Instian needs your Android phone or tablet to be running version 3 or later. Two of these hubs provide apps for Windows Mobile. The SmartThings hub needs your Windows phone to be running Windows 8.1 or later. And the Instian needs your phone to be running ver Windows 8 or later. Most smart devices do not provide Windows apps because there are so few users on this platform. Unfortunately, the SmartThings Hub, the Wink 2 and the Wink Relay do not provide any browser access. However, the Instian DAS does and I think this is great for us, for those of us who still use laptops or desktops quite frequently and want to log in remotely to our device using a web browser. Because the smart home market is so large and so lucrative, there are many different systems available. 
And so in order to get as many users as possible, these hubs need to work with more than one system. There are a vast number of different system, systems, and I've only included six in my comparison, but of course there are many, many more. The Instian hub is not very compatible with many of these systems. So the first system is IF triple T, or if this then that, and this is an app that allows devices to respond and interact with one another automatically via applets. An applet contains a set of instructions or rules that outline the circumstances under which two or more devices respond. Only the smart things and the Wink2 hubs have official applets on, I, on IFTTT. By official, I mean that, that there are applets that have been, been created by the manufacturers themselves as opposed to applets that have been created by individuals. If you like messing around with devices and tampering with a bit of code, then you would probably really enjoy using If This Then That. All four of these devices work directly with Amazon Alexa. Alexa is a digital assistant that enables smart devices, such as these hubs, to respond to voice commands via interactive speakers, such as the Amazon Echo. Echo is rapidly evolving into an important smart hub from which many hundreds of devices can be controlled using your voice. Google Home is Google's equivalent to the Amazon Echo. The only real difference between the Google Home and Amazon Echo is that Google Home is not quite as powerful as the Echo because it doesn't work with as many devices. Three of the hubs in this device, in this comparison, work with Google Home. They are the smart things, Wink2 and Wink Relay. Only one of these hubs works with Apple HomeKit and that is the Instian. However, you need to buy the HomeKit version of the Instian hub, which is compatible with HomeKit. Z-Wave is traditionally being one of the biggest smart home systems. The Smart Things and the Wink2 Hub are the only hubs in this comparison that work with Z-Wave. Zigbee is traditionally another big name in smart home systems, and the Instian is the only hub in this comparison which is not compatible with Zigbee. In this section, I want to focus on some of the compatible devices that work with these hubs. I've included some of the biggest selling types of smart gadgets, such as thermostats, and then added some of the most well-known brands and manufacturers for them. However, it's important to note that my list is not exhaustive or complete. It only shows a selection. Cameras. The SmartThings hub is compatible with Arlo cameras. The Wink2 hub is compatible with Arlo and Canary smart security cameras. And the Instian works with a smart camera that it makes itself. Smart doorbells. Perhaps the most famous brand of smart doorbell is Ring, and Smart Things and the Wink2 Hub are compatible with these doorbells. I could not find any doorbells that the Instian is compatible with. The Smart Thing Hub works well with Yale Locks. The Wing, Wink2 Hub works with Yale, Quickset, and Slage Locks. And the Instian works with My Locks. I don't think, think that the Smart Things Hub works with any thermostats, although I could be wrong, so if you know of any thermostats that work with the hub, then let me know. Nest, Honeywell, Ecobee and Sensi Therm thermostats will work with the Wink2, and Nest thermostats will work with the Instian Hub. The Smart Things Hub works with LifeX and Hue bulbs. The Wink works with Lutron, Sylvania and Hue bulbs. Instian Hub works with its own brand of smart bulbs. The Smart Thing Hubs works with Bose speakers. I could not find any speakers that work with the Wink2 Hub. And the Instian Hub works with Sonos speakers. On this chart, I show you what's included in the box when you buy one of these hubs. I think the main thing that this chart highlights is how different the Wink Relay is from the other smart hubs. 
All of the hubs come with an Ethernet cable, apart from the relay. The two hubs that come with an AC adapter are the Wink 2 and the Instian. Just to say that the NA means not applicable. The SmartThings hub is powered by batteries and the Wink Relay is powered via your lighting circuit. The only hub that comes with batteries is the SmartThings hub. All the hubs comes with written instructions or start guides apart from the SmartThings, which I presume would come as part of the app. The only hub that includes extras is the Wink Relay because it is so different. This hub comes with a full set of tools including a screwdriver, a wire stripper to help with the inst installation. To finish the video we will look at the ratings and reviews that these thermostats have received on Amazon. What I've tried to do is show some of the most helpful statistics. To state the obvious, these numbers will change on an almost daily basis, but I think that the overall trends that these numbers reveal will not change that much. None of these apps or none of these hubs have a rating of over 4 out of 5, which to be honest is very poor. The Wink 2 has a top rating of 3.9 out of 5, the SmartThings hub has a rating of 3.8 out of 5, the Wink Relay is 3.5 out of 5 and the Instian is 3.3 out of 5. Written Reviews The SmartThings hub has the highest number of written reviews. It has over 1,800. The Wink 2 comes next with 550. The Wink Relay has 375 written reviews and the Instian has 258. The SmartThings Hub has the highest number of answered questions as well, with over 550. The Wink Relay has 375 answered questions and the Wink 2 has 150 answered questions. The Instian has only 76 answered questions. The percentage of the reviews which are rated as 5 stars is an important indicator of satisfaction. The higher this percentage, the more satisfied buyers are. For the top smart products, this percentage tends to be in the 70s or 80s. None of the hubs in our review have such high figures. They are all low. The Wink 2 has only 57% of all of its reviews that are rated it as 5 stars. SmartThings has 49%, the Wink Relay has 40% and the Instian has 30% of all written reviews, giving it as, rating it as 5 stars. In contrast, 1 stars reviews is an important indicator of dissatisfaction. The higher this percentage is, the more disappointed buyers are. For the top smart products this percentage tends to be 5% or lower. The figures for the hubs in this comparison show that the buyers are not very satisfied. The Instian has a massive 31% of all of its reviews that rate it as one star. The Wink Relay and the SmartThings hub have 19% of all of its reviews rating it as one star and the Wink 2 has 15% of all of its reviews rating it as one star. FakeSpot is a website that analyzes a product's reviews on sites like Amazon and then gives them a reliability grading. The reason for this is that many companies pay people to write fake reviews about products. The higher the grade, the more trustworthy that the reviews are. It is the same grade system used on school reports. The SmartThings Hub is given the best grade. Its reviews are graded as B, which is good. In second place comes the Wink Relay. Its reviews are graded as a D, which isn't great. And in joint last place is the Instian and the Wink 2. Both of these hubs have been given an F grade for the reliability of their reviews. And that's it for my spec, or thanks for watching this review. I hope that my comparison will help you to decide which is the best smart hub to go to go for between the SmartThings, the Wink 2, the Wink Relay and the Instian. 
If you have any questions, please ask me. If I've made a mistake, please tell me. Or if you have any ideas for my next review, let me know.